Hello everybody and welcome back to Great Games Live Plays the Hits, the series where I play through the very best video games of all time. And today it is time for part three of my Dishonored playthrough. Now, if you're with us for part two, you will know that our character Corvo Atano has escaped from the Dunwall sewers and has met up with the Loyalists. Now what they want to do is put the Empress Jessamine's daughter Emily back on the throne and to do so they need my help and now it is time to undertake our very first mission for them. Let's see how we get on! It'll be a rough trip. It used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. Man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Decide to go up clavering. Don't let the guards spot you. And we are back. Right, here we go. Our very first proper mission on Dishonored. We're going to sneak our way through here. Because, as we know, I don't really want to be seen. And we've got guys up on the bridge throwing bodies down. Now, let's see what we have got in terms of runes and bone charms. There's a rune. There's a bone charm. Another bone charm and another rune. So we're going to have to try and collect those on the way through because I want as many powers as humanly all possible. Rats crawling all over <gasps> Almost walked straight into that guard, which would have been, well, let's be honest, an absolute disaster. Okay, you sit down there. You're in the shade of the bridge, so they shouldn't see you there. And we're going to head over here because I think I know the way over to uh, the One, two, three, over to the rune. Uh, yeah, up here and then round to here. Let's wait for my magic meter to fill back up. There we are. It's very dark. I'm just struggling a little to see what I'm doing. Uh, can I, can I, hello? Can I get up there? Hello? Hold on a sec. Let's try and make this a little bit easier. Oh, there's a chain. <laughs> of course there's a chain. Uh, let's grab that and head on up. And I'm going to try and jump off. Here we go. And go! Corvo! Okay, a little bit of bother. Let's uh, use a bit of health potion. That wasn't ideal. Come on, Corvo, you're a master of... Well, I don't like to say assassin because you're not. But uh, you're a royal protector and you can't jump off a chain. Keep them coming. There we go. And here is the bone charm. Let's pick that up. And your pouch with our hundred coins. I'll leave your rat skewer, I think. <laughs> don't particularly want that. Oh dear. Now if I know my Dishonored, and I do, that is the person we're looking for. Granny Rags. Let's just say she's a few sandwiches short of a picnic, and we'll leave it at that, but we'll, we'll find out for ourselves momentarily. Let's go up and say hello. And actually, is there a rune? There is a rune nearby, okay. Hello, Granny Rags. Oh, you're walking back inside. Don't, don't run away from me. Don't walk away from me. I'm Corvo Atano, the former royal protector. Where the devil are you? Yeah, I'll eat some jelly deals. Why not? Now, if I remember correctly, 
Granny Rags is voiced by Susan Sarandon. Mm, there she is. Yes, I would indeed. Dear, is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I guess so, Granny Rex. You know what? I told you the knives. Let us in, Granny. I am not going to deal with them uh, head on because I think that would be a bad idea. First of all, I'm going to nick. Ooh, sleep darts. Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll remember that for later because I'm, I'm going to need some more given the way that I'm going to be dealing with this lot. Okay, we got that. Uh, more a war medal. We'll take that. 50 more coins. Okay, let's head out and try to see off these fellows who are banging on the door. Open the damn door! Oh, trying to get up here. Can I get up there, please? There we are. Okay, so you can see the three dudes who are out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. Now, that isn't sleep darts. So what I want to use are these, the sleep darts. And I'm going to put them in my inventory and try and take them out. Uh, I've got to be off to the side. Okay, hold on. Can I get up there? That would make things incredibly easier if I could. Hmm. Hold on, I think I can. Give me just a second. Yes, here we go. One of the great things about this game is there's always another way of doing things. Here we go. So I'm going to go from here. I'm going to get you first. Now, I don't think they actually spotted me. They were obviously aware something happened, but I don't think they actually spotted me. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. Hello. You never listen. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Yes, I think there's all... the little birdies are sad today. I'm sure they are, Granny Rags. Um, here we go. We've got another room. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? I will deal with them in my own way, Mr. Outsider. Don't you worry about that. Hello, Granny. 
I told you the knives go Don't worry about me, you know, uh, nicking all your stuff. You never listen. Okay, let's head uh, upstairs. Is there something up here? Birthday gift, I will take it. Is it up here? It is up here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Thank you for the birthday gift. I massively appreciate it. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani. Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> but they're shy. Gonna leave You'll you to it, Granny. And make my way over here. Okay, here we go. We are gonna make our way to Dr. Galvani's offices. Let's see if we can do that. I'm going to work my way up to here. Ah, now we've got a couple of ne'er-do-wells down here. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to take them out with the old sleep darts. And they're down. Fantastic. Now... Again, I don't think they noticed I was there. Obviously, they knew something was going on. They were getting hit by sleep darts. Um, but I don't think it was anything to worry about. Now, that's 30 coins. Fantastic. Let's head down here. And if you deal with those ne'er-do-wells... Hey. Hi there. Hello. I'm trapped. It's all right, I'm here. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then... It's scavenging for me. Okay, not a problem. Get out of the way, Griff. Good. What the? I'm going to take all of the coins in this place. What else have we got? Anything interesting? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's head up here. Dr. Galvani's office is around here somewhere. That's fine. Let's work my way up here. Perfect. I'm on Clavering Boulevard. Let's go to his offices and get this stuff that we need to drop into Slackjaw's still. Go okay, full stealth. All right. Okay. Now the big question is where? What floor? Is this stuff going to be on? One would imagine, maybe the top. Shall I go up there? Can I get up there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay, let's go for it. We're going in. Dr. Galvani's offices. Uh, let's not do that. Let us crack on. What's this? Canker Mouth Golf Map. I'll take it. It's worth 75 coins. Why ever not? Um, okay, I think we need to go upstairs, so let's have a little look round. We've got... Wait, did you touch the 
We've got a maid and a guard. Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences every can I, the doctor said. Can I get past them? Vital essences? Does that mean guts? Oh dear. I, so. I don't so think I can. Need scrubbing. I'm gonna have to You're wait for them clean. to move. Unclean. That's nonsense. While I wait for them to finish their conversation, for goodness sake. I'm going to not eat some bread, but I'm going to see what else there is around here that I can steal. Hopefully something good. Anything at all? Anything at all? Anything at all? Oh, a pouch! 25 coins, we'll take it. Stay out of it, rats. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay away, okay? Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? And they're still it is, chatting it? away. I hope not. Oh, he's I'm gone. Telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. Oh, okay. He's going up the stairs. I think she's wandered off, so I'm going to try and take him out. Okay, she's gone. Right. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. And that's how it's done. We've got the Galvani lab key. Okay, I think there's guys in there, so... I'm going to go over here. Oh, I can't open that door. Okay, that's a concern. I'm sort of wandering around with a body. <laughs> this isn't good news. Okay. Hopefully the maid will steer well clear. Where is she? Where is she? She's in there. I'm going down here. I don't want to leave the body near the rats. Oh, good grief, this is a disaster. So much for a master assassin. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's use dark vision for the first time. To find out where she is. Okay, she's looking at something. This is what dark vision is for, seeing what they're up to. Come on, stop looking at whatever you're looking at and wander off so I can, you know, make you unconscious. Okay. Ah! And no, I pressed the wrong button! Got it. I have a feeling she spotted me. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. As long as she doesn't raise the alarm, and as long as I don't kill anyone, that will keep me in low chaos. That's what the aim of the game is. All right, so they're sort of sorted. Phew, that could have been a lot better. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, but we're still going. Let's close these doors. No one was here. Absolutely no one was here. I didn't see anyone, did you? No. Okay, we're going to make our way up to the lab. Are there people in the lab? No. You little rippers. Okay, now. What are we dealing with here? I've got to get into... Hold on. Nothing there, nothing there. Now I think there's a hidden entrance. Yes, look at this. We've got a bookcase on wheels and scratches on the floor. So we've got to find something that opens it. There's got to be a book. It's got to be a book. Got to be a book. There we go. Rock and rock. Thank you for your rat viscera. Coins, 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 coins! Open the cabinet. Anything in there? We've got some Piero Spiritual Remedy. Thanking you. And what we're going to do is we're going to shut that. No one was ever here. You are none the wiser. And it is time to leave this place.
Okay, so I'm going to drop down here and work my way around once again. Um, there we go. Alright, we'll go behind here. Work our way back to the entrance to the distillery, which I believe is in this direction. Uh, let's go through here. Ooh, what have you got? I'm not sure I want to read timeless children's rhymes at a time like this, but there we are. And here we have it, the entrance to the whiskey distillery. That is our next destination. Well, it doesn't feel quite right uh, doing things on behalf of Granny Rags. In fact, I feel quite dirty doing that. But if we want those sweet, sweet runes, then that's what we've got to do. Anyway, we will get on with that mission in the very next video. Until then, I want to say thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye, everybody.